Good morning, everyone. I'm City Council Member Keith Powers, Chair of the Committee on Criminal Justice. Today we will, be looking, we will be conducting a vote on two important pieces of legislation, proposed introduction 1199 and proposed introduction 944. We last heard these bills on December 3rd, 2018, at a joint hearing by the Criminal Justice and Justice Committee, Justice System Committees titled, Why Does the City Make It So Hard to Pay Bail? Uh, people paying credit card bail in person are charged non-refundable fees of over 7%, and those paying credit card bail online are charged a non-refundable fee of 2%. While these percentages may appear to be small, they can amount to hundreds of dollars, an impossible amount for those struggling to post bail for incarcerated family, family members and loved ones. My bill 1199 will remove these fees so that no one is charged extra simply for using a credit card to pay bail. Additionally, we have heard advocates testify that they receive referrals every day from people who are incarcerated solely due to bail that has been set at the amount of $1, even though dollar bail is meant to serve as an administrative hold when a person is otherwise detained to an unrelated case. Councilmember Lansman's Bill 944 will ensure that the Department of Correction informs incarcerated individuals and their attorneys when bail is set at such an amount and any, any amount less than $10. While transformative bail reform has occurred at the state level, judges are still permitted to set bail in many cases, which means that the passage of these bills will significantly reduce the financial and operational burdens that exist for those who are still permitted to be detained without having been, fa been found guilty of any crime. With that being said, I want to thank all of the advocates and organizations who fought to make these changes happen, including, the Worth, including Worth Rises, Zero Profits Coalition, and many more. Uh, I want to also thank my staff and staff from the Criminal Justice Committee and all the council members that have supported these bills, both mine and Council Member Lansman. I also want to recognize two of our stalwarts here at the committee, uh, both Council Member Rivera and Council Member Holden. Uh, I would now like to ask if any committee members would like to make a statement prior to beginning the vote. No. Thank you. So we will uh, now call the roll and take the vote. Thanks. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on criminal justice, introductions 944A and 1199A. Items are coupled. Chair Powers. I vote aye. Holden. I vote aye and uh, request that my name be added as a sponsor. Both. 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 Yeah. Rivera. Aye. By a vote of three in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. Thank you. And with that being said, this this uh, vote is closed and the hearing is adjourned. Thanks so much.